Some tips for setting up a successful A-B test would be test elements with the biggest gains. You want to be sure that the elements that you're testing are going to give you the biggest impact uh, for that particular test. Um, so if you, you want to test the things that are going to give you the largest amount of gain uh, versus testing things that don't really move the needle at all. Uh, secondly would be to focus only on one or two elements um, that you're testing. If you focus on too many elements, then you won't be able to determine, let's say, if, whether or not your page was successful. Let's say if you had three or four different elements that you tested and your page performed phenomenally better, you don't know which one of those elements was the cause for that. And in fact, it could have performed even more better um, if you had known that maybe element number three was working against elements one, two, and four. Uh, and lastly, you want to capture multiple measures of success. Uh, this is key in that you don't want to just come up with one measure of success for your test because your test may have succeeded in other areas but failed in, um, in others. So to be able to determine where your test succeeded, you want to be able to set the precedence of multiple measures of success. Uh, those would be the main tips for uh, setting up a successful A-B test.